Hey guys, what's up? I got my MVP drops that dropped about a week and a half ago. Finally getting out to a course. We're gonna play nine holes. It's about 100 degrees out, but that's all right. Let's see how these discs fly. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't thrown these discs, there's some really good drops in the latest MVP drop. We got the special edition Electron Entropy. I've got medium plastic right here. We got my all-time favorite bombing disc right now, which is the Fission Time Lapse. We also got the Detour. This is the special edition one with that cool stamp on it. One of my favorite mid-ranges. And then a disc that is surprisingly overstable. It's this cool Tesla, which is Simon Lazat's signature disc. And as a putter, I'm putting with Pixels, my favorite. All right, haven't really played this layout before, but I think it's pretty easy. We should easily be able to get six down. Who knows, maybe even nine down. I'm kind of shooting for a nine down, but we'll take a six down as our goal. This is 200 feet, pretty much dead straight. Let's go entropy. Or just go right at it. All right, that'll work. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, basically what I do is when I get new discs, I'll go out to a field. In fact, the ones I'm throwing today, you can see my field tests up here. We got four discs that I've already tested out. And then after that, I like to go to a course and kind of throw them and see how they really fly in a course situation. All right, left myself a nice little 20 footer here. Favorite putter guys, Electron Firm Pixels. Used to putt with judges, not anymore. Really loving these pixels. Wow, that was an ugly putt. All right, one down. Hole two, 112 feet, a little shorty guy, but it kind of hooks up around this tree. So this would be a good one for entropy, maybe try to throw in, or even like a Tesla skip in shot or something. I don't know. Let's go entropy, medium. Come on. Ah, uh, all right, Tesla skip in. Oh. Not sure what's up with these baskets, but all of them so far have been pretty crooked. Oh, I can see why. They didn't really concrete them in. I think they just put them in the dirt and now they're leaning. Hey guys, if you're installing a course out there, post hole digger, bag of concrete or two. All right, this one's a shorty, but it's got a low ceiling. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for the detour. Just throw it about 70%, not super hard, nice and flat right at it should give us an easy birdie putt maybe even an ace run a little too far to the right man i really love a detour even if you miss throw it still ends up pretty good such a good forgiving disc if you guys don't have a detour you need to check them out all right guys i just realized this course is not going to be the course to throw the fission time lapses on so we're kind of right next to this big field. So I'm gonna throw these two real quick. I've got two fission time-lapse, 167 and 157. So let's do the 157 first. I just wanna show you guys how these crush. <clears throat> that thing just go, go, goes. Wow, this is the 167. <clears throat> Look at that full flex. Okay, one more set of throws with these. Somebody asked sidearm. I'm gonna do a little sidearm. Just to let you know, sidearm's not nearly as good as my backhand. Here's the 157. Pretty much on a hyzer the whole way. That's kind of how I throw sidearms. I'm all hyzer all the time. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one a little flatter. There we go, got a little turn out of it. Yeah, wow. Okay guys, just measured my sidearm shots. That first one that was a hyzer went 300 feet. The one that was a little flatter got me 350. So I gotta tell you guys, these time lapses, man, the fission ones in particular, they're giving you some extra distance if you throw them right. All right, this is 295. I feel like this is a straight up hyzer shot for the Tesla. Let's see if we can pump one to the right and get something close. <clears throat> Look how stable this thing is. Go baby, go. Yes. All right, that should be a good putt. All right, don't believe the Tesla numbers. You can see my video up here about that, but reminds me a lot of like a brand new Champion Firebird. I mean, it's just beefy. It's not uncontrollably beefy, but if you notice on that shot I just threw, I threw it pretty much dead flat, 
hung it way to the right and it finished super strong. That Tesla went about 290 feet exactly. Left me with a little bit of a 10 footer here for birdie. Yeah, guys, super stable, but still great disc. 185 dead straight in front of you. We got a lot more room to the right. I mean, this is a backhand entropy shot all day long. And then hook up. Oh yeah. All right, seriously, Parks and Rec people, if you guys are watching, use some concrete when you install these baskets. You see what happens over the years? It just tilts. Dead straight tunnel shot. Don't mind if I do with the detour. For dead straight tunnel shots, I mean, there's no disc better than this one. All right, one more time. Go in. Oh, standstill, tunnel shots, long turnover shots, in the woods, hyzer flip ups. You gotta get a detour. It's like player B was parked, but we're going with player A. This is the range I love the pixels in. Just outside a circle, leaning basket towards you. I mean, perfect opportunity for a pixel putt. Bam, let's go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if that basket wasn't leaning towards me, that putt wasn't going in. I'll take it anyway. 236, my real shot, I'm gonna take detour straight at it, try to do an ace run, but then player B, I'm gonna do a little sidearm Tesla action, okay? Get down, get down, get down. Man, I love that disc. All right, player B is gonna do a little sidearm Tesla shot just to show you guys what this is like on a sidearm. Beautiful. So I think this is gonna get me to seven down. So we definitely reached our goal of six under. Like I said earlier, I've never played this course. So I didn't really realize how easy the whole course was, but I do remember hole eight and hole nine are definitely not gimmies. So let's see if we can get to nine down. All right, guys, love this hole all day long. Got double Mando. That's about six feet apart to get it over there. It's only 100 feet, so there's many different ways you can go about getting there. All right, I'm gonna try a nice, easy little detour shot right down the middle, a little standstill shot. There we go, sit down. Oh my goodness, that was an ace run. Okay, one thing you might not notice from the tee is there's actually a creek behind the basket. I hope I didn't go in. All right, looks like I'm good. Let's see if we can save birdie here. All right, well, we had to get a par at some point. Final hole here, we're at seven down. It's okay, we can still get to eight down. I like doing either the overstable shot, going through the sneaky gap over there, or just dead straight with a nice little flippy mid-range, right at it with the detour on a little bit of a turnover. Perfect, that is what the detour is made for right there, under the basket. So we're gonna finish with an eight under, which is pretty nice, guys. All right, sum this up, detours are money. This is probably gonna be my new go-to flippy mid-range. I mean, right out of the box, fly super straight, little flip to it. You guys with slower arm speeds, you're gonna like this better than the hex, trust me. Entropy, great 200 foot approach disc slightly overstable pretty much a straight shooter and i love it in this electron plastic tesla this thing's beefy but i love it so yes it is overstable but if you put it on a flex line pretty sure it's going to hold straighter than you think and then time lapses flippier than you think these guys are pretty flippy every time i throw it flat at 100 percent gets a lot of turn to it, even has more turn than it does fade to it. So these are fun bombers and in the lightweight, they definitely go far. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you guys are looking for some discs, you guys know where to go. Use my code, save 10%. Till I see you next time. Peace out.